Hello people. Uh, I am still around. I have just been really busy and uh, the opportunities that I've tried to take to uh, take a video of my rainwater catchment and also the gardens has just not worked out because of weather. We've had quite a bit of rain but uh, I've installed all the pipes in the system for the rainwater catchment. I have 550 gallons that are coming off the roof. Um, I have some lessons learned I want to share and uh, you know in the gardens as well I haven't been able to get back there because absolute sponge in the grass my yard itself um, the beds themselves are good because I like raised beds just due to that fact it gives you an advantage to what um, to your drainage basically and so uh, I do have some fall stuff going up I, I do have a ton of cleanup that I have to do I do have um, a bunch of pumpkins that we have to pro uh, process as well and we'll probably process those pumpkins um, and end up freezing them and you know we're not a big pumpkin pie family or anything else but you know a pumpkin soup or, or something you know my wife throws together all kinds of really cool stuff so it, it'll end up turning into something like that um, you know but so here soon I'm gonna try to shoot those videos um, get them out to you because you know I learned some big lessons um, I mean I watch hundreds of videos on rainwater catchment I've watched them since 2010 you know wanting to do something like this and you know finally had an opportunity was able to take it you know put it up and, and at least get my storage started um, you know and then just just some lessons from uh, having heavy rains like this and what an advantage a raised bed can be it, it's more work costs you more money to put up um, when the boards rot out I won't replace them I'll just leave them as raised beds I'll just tear the boards out and they'll be almost like mounds but I'll, I'll be putting some stuff out I got a few ideas a couple people left some ideas uh, hopefully after this week we're drying out I'll be able to start shooting uh, a lot more videos um, videos on um, some of those topics that are asked for and some of the ones that have kind of been like stewing within me, you know, stuff about, you know, concealed versus open carry versus chambered versus non-chambered um, is one that I've been thinking about quite a bit. Uh, I do want to address, you know, the, the mindset from an urban prepper all the way out to an isolationist um, as well, because I think that there's my personal opinion I think there's a there's a happy medium between it I think if you're on one end of the extreme or the other then you know it, it presents some challenges I'm not saying it's the wrong way it's just gonna be there's gonna be other challenges that you're gonna have to think about um, the other thing that I'm gonna put out here real soon is that um, so I've done two or three in my past um, property assessments um, so if you're looking to buy property or you have property and you want to have an assessment done on it um, I've done them uh, I'm actually building the template report right now um, which is uh, you know not only you know words but images uh, that analyze a number of factors which I'm not going to go into publicly um, because this is a methodology that I've had for a while and it's something that I just don't want to put out there so anybody can take it um, but I'm just trying to figure out the details to, you know, how, how do I market this? How do I, you know, reach out to folks? Um, I have a lot of sources that I can go to because uh, of my background. A lot of sources I learned um, and a lot of sources that I can reach out to. And so that's kind of the idea behind, you know, doing that thing as well. So just to kind of give you guys a, a little idea of, you know, some, what's going on with Squid right now. Uh, it's it just been busy. Uh, been working my tail off. Uh, but also, you know, a lot going on at home as well, uh, and the weather has sucked too. So, um, you know, look ahead to stuff coming out, and we'll talk to you guys real soon.